Welcome to our car wash. To get started, select your wash. Oh, shit! I kind of like this song. Now, man, I can't tell anybody about that shit. Yeah. to the shop and the first thing I'm gonna do is swap out this t-shirt why cuz I have to stay repping bro yeah I know this is cheesy but you know I have to do a little magic trick ready one two three whoa always plugging in the merch bro all right DJ what's the plan for today today we need to go to LA to get the clear coat for the class you did and in the clear coat we're gonna put the pearls and the color shifting agents of the whole dip process and it's the last step of the whole preparation and if everything goes well we're gonna start painting the car today and we're taking the fucking legend fuck bro this is a CRV Yo, this is how DJ's plastic dip's gonna come out. All rusty. Head out to Pasadena and go pick up his paint. I already know what to expect. Going to hit traffic. LA is the worst place to fucking drive. I hate going out there, but I owe DJ a favor. Yes, you do. Jay's talking to one of the custom dip specialists, basically getting us some tips on how to minimize overspray. We just picked up the clear dip and we made it to LA safely and we're gonna head back to the office. Yo, Morris. What's up? I think we should teleport back to the office. I think so. Yeah? Sorry. I really don't feel like sitting in traffic. I'm just gonna teleport there. You ready? Let's go. Alright, guys. Whoa. Don't you guys just love teleporting? Blood! The man himself, Ivan rolled through. So this is a clear coat we picked up from LA. If you guys don't know, you can't order dip online. It's illegal to actually ship the different types of colors and dip. I'm not sure why it's illegal, but I guess the only way you can really do it is if you go pick it up in person. So there's a few people in California that actually drive all the way out to DYC, which is dip your car, and go pick up the paint, come back to California, and sell it. DJ and Brian didn't finish masking the bend the other day, so I believe it's 95% done. Right after I've been setting up the spray gun, we're gonna go ahead and spray the first layer of base coat. So wish us good luck. Ah, uh, what we got going on here, bro? Uh, we got the disassembled. Okay. We got the air regulator on. We just gotta put the fitting. Be able to put this to the airlines, and we should be good to go. So our back warehouse is coming along. This is Ivan's favorite section. The lift's working perfectly. Yo, it's like I'm shooting. So, just to give you guys a heads up, this is our first time ever plastic dipping a car. Probably gonna be a couple fuck ups, a little bit of overspray. Yeah, I don't think 40 psi is gonna fucking cut it. But... Nah, bro. <laughs> I think you need to crank the bitch up I mean, to 80 it's psi. It's already when the paint's in, like. <laughs> So Ivan's mixing the first layer of dip that's going on the bends. White, creamy, plastic dip. <laughs> Kinda looks like milk. Be careful though, that splash bag. Go, 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 harder, harder, harder. There you go, there you go. Anybody want to roll through? We got, we got fresh milk. Got it, yeah. Bring your Oreos though. Cocaine! Yeah. Here we go. Oh shit, yeah, do not spray that. <laughs> oh, DJ, you just spilled. Oh. Guys, the master of disaster, my dad rolled through. It's high grade shit. High grade straight from Colombia, man. Woo. So here's a little fun fact. My dad used to work for gas in Corona for Pimp My Ride back in the day. That's how I got into cars myself. We have a full garage today. I'm gonna run through all the shit that's going down right now. 
Oh shoot. So something's wrong with Martin's car. It's idling really weird and we think it's his idle control valve. So Ivan's back here. He's cleaning uh, Martin's idle control valve. Hopefully this fixes his idling issue. And then we got goddamn boy's car up there. <laughs> I don't know what the hell we're doing to his car, but it's been hogging up the car lift for four days already. And while we're working on plastic dipping DJ's car, we're gonna go ahead and work on my homie's SRT4. He just got a new exhaust, so we're gonna go ahead and install that today. What's up with the orange? I've noticed people aren't trying to stay low key anymore. Everybody's trying to stand out, you know, with the bright green and the bright orange, the bright red, even including myself with the R8. I think it's cinematic time. Oh, I think time it is. Some cinematic shots. Are you guys ready for this? Let's go. Roll it. <sighs> We're not sponsored by Monster yet. But hey, Monster, if you want to hook your boys up with a couple of these, let me know. So what we're doing right now is we're putting up the plastic walls so the overspray won't be all over our warehouse. We're going to leave this side open only because there needs to be some sort of ventilation. Here we go. First layer of paint is going on the car. You can already see like the color change. So just to give you guys an update on what's going on, we got our first layer of base. DJ wants to put on four layers of base. And then after that, the last step of the process is putting on the actual pearls. All right guys, so right now we're putting the top layer of pearls on the car. Kind of hard to see the shine or the pearls because of the light. It's already time for refuel. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy how like it melts through the cup. Dude, look at the shine. If you guys can see this area, oh, it's so hard to tell on camera, but it looks so fucking nice. Not bad for our first dip. Oh! He almost gave him a little love tap. Oh, is it gonna hit? Is it going to hit? Oh! Don't get nervous, boy! I'm not nervous. Oh! Alright, let's roll up that SRT. Come on, come on. All right, this is the before. There we go. What's going on, guys? What are we doing right now? Taking off these little bolts. We're taking off the tailpipe. I do. Let's spray this like thing real it. quick. We got Spider-Man living under his fucking tires. <laughs> and Spider just jumped out of nowhere, dude. What the living fuck nowhere. is that? Oh, shit. Oh. God damn, bro. It's way too fucking hot to be doing this shit. Oh, this shit's coming loose. So I'm holding up the mid pipe right now. You guys gotta be really careful because as soon as you loosen up those bolts over there, the entire thing just falls off. <laughs> God damn now, what? <laughs> <laughs> just to give you guys an update on what's going on, we just took off his old exhaust. We're going with the new 3 inch straight pipe exhaust from DNA Motorsport. This is that tuned in Tokyo custom mid pipe. Alright, Ivan's gonna give you guys an update. He obviously had to come in, the clutch got himself. This is why you don't buy an SRT, first of all. Uh oh. But the downpipe is, the bolts are way the fuck up in there. And they're not easy to get to. As you can tell, they're not easy to get to. So when it's Bro. Said, this, these bolts are like virgins, you gotta force them to let you slide it in. <laughs> no lube, no, no nothing. Lube. Damn, bro, why are you fist in here, bro? Yeah, fist in here. Sometimes. This is the guy from the G spot. Found the G spot? Motherfucking. 
Guys, so we changed out the down pipe. Right now, we're attaching the mid pipe. Here's a quick update on the exhaust install. So we got the down pipe on. It now reaches the mid pipe. Ivan saved the day as usual. This is the last step. All he's doing is tightening the axle back and then we can test the sucker out. No buying this. <laughs> this is the after. Woo! Dude, it sounds way better. God damn! So we've been working on cars the entire day and I'm so so exhausted so with that being said i'm gonna end the vlog right here hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did all i ask for you is to share this with your friends and make sure you guys like and subscribe you guys will be able to see the final stage and the big reveal to dj's car in our next vlog so stay tuned for that until then peace out guys